Uh... Alright! Uh, okay, if this actually wants to walk, then let's get into episode 4, Turn About Goodbyes, Day 1 Investigation. It's been what? 15 years? About that, yes. 15 years is a long time to wait. Can't imagine how much I've suffered. You've suffered? But now, the perfect opportunity has presented itself. At last, I shall have my revenge! What? Merry Christmas. And a Happy New Year, too. Edgeworth? Why? Why? Let me lower the game down a little bit. I think that might be a little bit too loud. December 25th. 10.08 a.m. Lighting co offices. Hey, hey, Nick. Do you know if there are any good waterfalls around here? Waterfalls? Dare I ask why? Duh, Nick. Isn't it obvious? I need a waterfall to stand under. Preferably a freezing one. Oh. Is that part of your spirit medium training? Of course! Except I've been slacking off lately. I need to brave the elements and be forged anew under the rushing spring waters. Uh... Okay, I don't know about any falls per se, but good old lake is pretty close. Oh, Dawn. Sorry, but them's the breaks. Couldn't you just take a cold shower or something? Hmm. Good idea! So much for rushing spring waters. Next in the news, a large unidentified animal was sighted at Gord Lake. The town is buzzing with excitement! Locals are calling it Gordy! And a tip to the hat of, of... And a tip of the hat to Nessie, the Loch Ness Monster! Though its namesake, Nessie proved to be a hoax. Locals are confident their Gordy is the real deal. <sighs> Boring! <sighs> Can't they show real news for a change? Nick? Huh? The water pressure's kind of low in that shower. You want more pressure, huh? Why don't you go down to the fire department and have them spray you with the hose? Good idea! Apparently, fey blood is no aid in detective sarcasm. We interrupt this program to bring you a special news bulletin. Stranger Codes has continued at Gordon Lake, but this time, it's murder. Gordon Lake again? The body of a man was found in the lake earlier this morning. A suspect was apprehended. Sources inside the police department revealed that the suspect's name is Miles Edgeworth, age 24. Edgeworth was an up-and-coming prosecutor known for his skills and connections. He was guaranteed a long rewarding career. Has he thrown it all away? Uh, Edgeworth? What's going on? Edgeworth would never do something like... Nick? Uh, Maya! The, the fireman yelled at me when I called him. We've got bigger things to worry about than that! They arrested Edgeworth! What? You mean the prosecutor? Yeah, he's a suspect in a murder! What? When? Where? Whom? Why? How? I, I, I don't know. Let's go find out, Nick. Okay, I don't really think I need to talk to you. Yeah, let's go to the detention center. You know, Nick, we've all been in here one time or another, haven't we? <sighs> I guess it comes with the territory. I'm not sure it's something we should mention to too many people. Ah! Hey, Edwards, come back! What are you doing here? Nick, I don't think he's in a very good mood. Well, he is in detention. Were you in a good mood when you were he when you were here? 
Were you in a good mood when you were here? So you've come to so you've come to laugh at the fallen attorney. Then laugh, laugh. Hold on. Oh, I was hoping to see what he said before, but in case I read it wrong, but oh well. Well, why aren't you laughing, Nick? Should we be laughing? Nah, that's a trick. Laughing don't get mad. Or oh, burst into tears. Edgeworth. We don't have so much free time. Free time, we can... Sp we don't have so much free time, we can spend it coming down here to laugh at you. Yes, you do. Actually, he's right. I hoped you wouldn't come. I didn't want you to see me. Not like this. I don't want to see you like this either, believe me. But you need to tell me. What happened? Edwards, tell me what happened! Why should I? What are you going to do about it? Duh! We're gonna help you, that's what! <clears throat> help me? You? Don't be ridiculous. S sorry You're a novice. You've only been in three trials. Hey! Sure, you've gotten lucky in 103. But your luck's bound to run out someday. You need real skill, right? Experience! Hey, how do I keep hitting buttons when I don't mean to? Nick, he's insulting you! Nick? Why am I the one who always gets angry? Okay, then tell me, what happened? The murder took place at Good Lake, right? Yes. Late last night. The lake is a long way from your offices. And the courthouse. So why were you down there? <sighs> I see no need to tell you. M Mr. Edgeworth? You... You did it really. Gordy. Huh? I went to see Gordy. Gordy? What's that? I'll tell you later. Why won't Edgeworth talk to us? Your attorney's badge. Edgeworth, let me defend you. <laughs> Good one, right? But I'm not that hard up. Not yet. W what do you mean by that? Me? Trust a whip behind the ears lawyer with only three trials under his belt? Never. W what? My case is near hopeless, right? Every defense attorney I've talked to has turned me down. What? Simply put, they're afraid they'd lose. It occurred to me that it might be my fault that they've lacked confidence. After all, I did get every single one of their clients declared guilty. I don't believe it. Regardless, I don't want you involved in this. You in particular, I cannot ask to do this. Too bad, I'm gonna do it anyways. Edros, this is really hard for me to ask, but... You didn't do it, right? Right? Think what you will. I have only one request. Huh? Stay out of this case. Why? But Nick is trying to help you! I know. I know that! But I don't want your help, okay? Why not? Look, just go away and leave me alone! Nick? The stage was... Did it, did it? Maya! Let's go investigate elsewhere! But, Nick... He didn't do it, Maya. We... We can't just throw him under the bus like that. Christmas Day, Good Lake Park entrance. This is where it happened! Yeah, Good Lake. It's in the middle of this park. I can see some police walking around in there. Questioning people, probably. Hey, isn't that Detective Gumshoe over there? Well, pal! There's enough of us here. Anyone else find anything? Uh, sorry, sir. Nothing. Idiots! The trial's tomorrow! We need clues on the double. On the double! Uh, but, uh, but, sir, there weren't any clues. That's why we arrested that attorney, Mr. Edgeworth. It's clear, sir. He's the one who... Shut up! Just... You try... Uh, just you try saying that again. I'll... Oh, I'll make you sorry if you do. So just, 
Just get out of my face, pal! Y yes sir Detective Gumshoe's kind of scary today. Recruits. <laughs> hey! You're that hairy guy, hairy butts! Right! Phoenix right! Will he ever learn my name? And just what are you doing here, pal? Investigating? Huh? Uh, well, yes, I suppose. Well, I'm here to help. Ask me anything you want. Bring it! He seems stiffer than usual. I wonder what's up. Um... Mr. Edgeworth wasn't actually asking us to defend him yet. Uh-huh! Oh, you don't say. So, can you tell me what happened? Detective? Do you know what happened to you? Huh? You don't know, pal? No. Well, okay, Mr. Head in the Fluffy Pink Clouds lawyer. Head in the... Huh? Never mind, I'll tell ya. It happened last night, about 50 minutes before midnight. There was a boat out on Gord Lake. And in that boat were two men. One of those men shot the other with a pistol. And the shooter was Mr. Edgeworth? Cop who arrest a cop who arrived on the scene arrested him. How did they get there so fast? Well, there was a witness. When the report came in, we raced to the lake. A witness? So who's a witness? Uh, sorry, pal, that's confidential. Anyways, the witness saw everything, apparently. I'm sure they'll turn up in the trial tomorrow. Was there only that one witness? Uh, yep. It was pretty cold out at the lake last night. And it was Christmas Eve after that. Still, we're being thorough. You never know when you're gonna turn You never know. You never know when you're gonna turn up another witness. That's why we're here today, checking things out. So far, we're going up empty. Oh. It's Christmas today, I've forgotten! But what are you getting me for Christmas, Nick? Talk to Santa. <laughs> so, um... You don't think Mr. Edros is a murderer, do you? Absolutely not! It's impossible! I don't care if there's a witness either. I don't believe a lick of it. Right! Who cares what the witness says? I care! Hmm. You believe in him, don't you, detective? Of course I do. But... Police are pretty sure he's the killer. Nobody's even really taking this investigation that seriously. Oh no! After all the help that Mr. Edwards has been to us, it's hard to imagine that no one that no one's standing up to take his side. Well, at least you are, Detective. At least you are. Ah, oh, Gumshoe. Loyal till the very end. Is it true? No one will take Mr. Edwards' case? Yeah. He's a bit of a celebrity. If you defend him and lose, your reputation will be sure to suffer. What's more, the case against him is... Well, it's pretty solid. I suppose it would be if they had a witness. Hey, pal! Don't tell me I've got to turn your back on him, too! Remember that Steel Samurai case? Mr. Edwards helped you get your client declared innocent! I... I, I know! I want... I... Went to Edgeworth. I tried. He really doesn't want us to represent him. Especially not us, he said. What? Well, that doesn't make any sense, pal. You should have heard him talking about you after that trial. He kept saying, right, 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 over and over. N Nick? I'm not sure that's a good sign. Neither am I. Why wouldn't he want your help? I don't get it. Detective, Detective Gumshoe, sir! What? Find something? Uh, no sir, not yet. But there was a call from the precept. They want to hold an investigation briefing. Ah, uh, briefing? A briefing? Uh, right, I'm off. Oh, uh, sorry pal. I guess you heard, I gotta go. Any last things you want to ask me before I head back? Can you give me the autopsy report? Well, yes. Do you have any information on the victim? Uh, sorry. I haven't worked up an autopsy report yet. I'm still waiting for it myself. Well, actually, say, if you get the time, drop by the precept. We can talk more there, pal. You're not coming back, detective? Ugh, probably not, pal. 
Ah, so what should we do if we have... If we have someone to talk to you about? Oh, uh, right. Yeah, I'll show you how to get to the precept. Come down to see me anytime. We got directions to the police station we see from Gumshoe. Oh, hey, Detective Gumshoe! What? Uh, we'd like to take a look around in the park. Can we walk around? Yeah, no problem, pal. You got my permission. You know, Nick, I think there's something to be said for talking to people when they're, when they're busy. Yeah, they don't have time to think about not giving you information. Right? Right. Now, let's get investigating. I mean, that's one way of looking at things. Let's go check the beach. Beach? Beach? Let's go to the beach. Wowzers! This is Good Lake! Yep. I'm not sure it wants a Wowzers, though. Uh, probably not. But, hey, look at that snack stand! Samurai dogs. I want a samurai dog, please! I bet they're great! With a name like Samurai Dog, how could they not be? A little behind the times, though. The kids are all into the Pink Princess now. I mean, like, you know. Nope. <laughs> uh, seems like there was a party here last night. Huh? Someone left behind Papa's here. You know, you pull the string, and it goes pop! Yeah, and it goes pop! Yeah, I know the ones. You see them a lot around New Year's. Hey, Nick, they might be a clue. Let's take them! Oh, come on, admit it. You just want to pop them, right? But it's that obvious. Poppers, hmm? Ah, yeah, sure, go ahead, take them. I suppose it couldn't hurt. Where did they go? Into my pocket. <laughs> wow, classic party noisemaker. Pull the string and it goes BANG! Not a very, not very clue worthy. Trash can is empty. Uh, at least the place is well maintained. Huh. I almost didn't see the signpost. Left is to the boating docks, right is to the exit. Hot dog stand. And it's closed. The Christmas fridge... Fringe looks a little half-baked. The battery samurai dogs. Somebody needs to redecorate. Wow! Good Lake is really big! Yeah. Say, Nick, why is it called Good Lake? Oh. Well, a long time ago, they used to grow gourds here. Whoa, no way! I was sure it was because the lake looked like a gourd when viewed from above. You know, like an hourglass shape? Well, it is shaped like a gourd, actually, but that's just a coincidence. Oh, okay. Not really much I can do here. Anywhere else to explore? Oh yeah, the boat rental. Or the woods. Sure, let's go out into the woods. <coughs> sure, nothing bad will happen out here. I like it here, Nick. Look, someone's camping. They got guts coming out at the scene of a murder. Hey, hey, Nick! If they were camping here last night, they may know something about the murder. Well, that's true. Good call, Maya. Let's go talk to them. Yeah, uh, kind of an issue. No camping. Plenty of place to pick to pitch your tent. Wait, what if the sign said no setting tents on fire? I don't think they'd have a sign like that. Oh... This SUV has seen better days. It's dented all over. Can't believe anyone would drive this car down here. Hey, Nick. Don't tell me you're hungry again. No! I was just wondering, why are camping pots and pans made of aluminum? They don't talk about that in any of the law books. So there's no law saying they have to be made out of aluminum then? I'm not having this conversation. Sorry. Uh, I say aluminum, other people say aluminium. <clears throat> There's food and some magazines on the sheet. It takes a pretty tough skin to camp out in this cold. Yeah, we can slide, because I noticed the camera. This camera's a mic and some sort of attachment. Let's take pictures when triggered by a noise. Wow, cool! Let's try it out! <coughs> Hi, I'm Nick! Maybe I'm not saying it loud enough? Hey! I'm Nick! Huh. Nick! Will you stop that? Maybe it's broken. D don't kick it! Maybe it isn't set to respond to voices. Well, what then? These things? Potty poppers. 
well, he responded. Yeah! Hey, you get your hands off of that! Yeet! What in the Sam Hill? Look what you've done now! There go the whole world of film! Uh, what? Huh? So, so sorry? Sounds nice, but you don't pay the bills. You don't know how much a will of film costs! Uh, I'll pay it. I'll pay you back. What do you think and send up a potty popper in a place like this? Uh, well... What? Don't try and play stupid with me just because you say I'm some country bumpkin. Yeah, I know how you, how you yanks think. I say these southern folks talk with an exaggerated draw. Why, they must be dumb. Well, let me tell ya, just because I might be dumb don't mean we all are. Nick, help. And who are you now, Hawk Chaperone? Yeah, uh, no, rather, uh, we're sort of friends. Just figure it out what you're gonna say and say it for be for bejesus' sake. God, I'd rather sit through one of Papa's draws than listen to you stutter all day. Oh boy. I guess we should pay her for the film. Watch it! Yes, ma'am. Uh, second thought, I'll pay later. I'm really sorry. Uh, hello there, ma'am. What? What? Can't you see I'm chained to the film on my camera here? Someone. I'm not naming any names, but someone used up a whole roll. Sorry. That did not work. I wonder if I'll have anything to show her that would get her attention. Okay. I... Uh, this is my badge. Huh? All the badges are supposed to be shiny and impressive? Yeah, cop or something? Uh, I'm a lawyer. What? Y'all ain't gonna try and pull one of those lawyers on me all over the film now, cause I'll have you know I'm a fighter and I wrestle, and, and I wrestle meaner looking things in you. No, that's not it at all. We're here investigating a murder that took place here on the lake. A murder? Sounds cool. Why didn't you say that in the first place? Go ahead, ask me anything you like. Finally! It's all cooperation. You too? Y'all can come out of hiding now. I won't bite hard. Come to think of it, where did my head get to? Sorry. I was feeling a little overwhelmed. The culture gap and all. Never you mind, honey. I kind of talk yank for, for y'all if, um, if it pleases you. Th thanks. I think I'll be okay. Great then. I'm Lada. Lada hurt, but y'all can just call me Lada. I'm here photographing meteor shells for a research project. Mighty pleased to meet ya. You have a camera that goes off of sound for a meteor shower. She didn't say she was dumb. She did admit that she was dumb. So, what is it you do, Lada? Huh? Me? <laughs> you don't really want to know that, do ya? Actually, I'm a research and student in a country gear right at the heart of the heartland. Wow, neat. Nick, to the research student at the university, country you. So I hear. So, when did you come up here? Uh, let me see, uh, I guess it was about uh, three days ago? What are you photographing? D didn't I tell you already? Meteors, yep, meteor showers. Falling stars? Yeah, exactly. Oh yeah, what was that murder anyway? I ain't seen much television lately. It happened late in the night of Christmas Eve. That's so, Christmas Eve. A man on a boat was shot. Did you see anything? Well, uh, let me see. A boat, you say? I reckon I might have seen one, not sure though. Y'all gotta remember, I've been watching this here lake for a good three days now. I see enough boats to choke a mule. It's kinda hard to remember which I've seen when. Uh, what about the camera? That's quite a camera you have there. Yeah, I better know it. It's German made, a genuine. Sloy. Sloygen? Isn't that where they make knives? Um. So, what did that device have stuck to the camera? Huh? Device? Your camera went off all by itself when I fired my potty popper. Oh, that. That might trigger the stutter whenever it detects certain sounds. 
It's programmed to pick up loud noises right now. A programmable camera? Neat! Set to automatically take a photo when a loud noise is detected. Face the lake. Alright. Well, thank you, ma'am. I'm gonna go check out the boat rental. So glad we didn't get stabbed. Nick? What is this place? It's a boat rental shop. It's closed for Christmas, it seems. Uh, I guess a motor taking place on one of the bows wouldn't be good for business eyes off. Boats? I've never been on a boat. Really? Well, how about we go out on one when the trial is finished? Hey, good idea. You bet. You bet! Let's see, a small boat rental shop. Doesn't look like anyone is around, though. Probably closed because of this Christmas. There's some boats floating on the dock. Is one of them used in a motor, I wonder? Nick? Huh? I changed my mind. I don't really want to go on a boat ride. There's more first out of that way. I doubt I'd find any helpful clues in there. Eh, it doesn't seem like anything out here for me. So, how about we go and see if Gumshoe has anything for us? Looks like Detective Gumshoe isn't here. Something wrong, miss? Huh? Turn yourself in? Okay, what do you do? Shoplifting? Larceny? Public indecency? N no None of those things! We're looking for Detective Gumshoe. Is he around? Gumshoe? Oh, yeah. He's in a meeting right now. I don't think he'll be out anytime soon. Okay, we'll come back. You do that. Oh, and go straight home and stay out of trouble. No more shoplifting, you got that? Do I look like a criminal or something? Aww, you made the girl cry, Commissioner. What is wrong with you? This must be the chief of the department here. He's glued to his computer screen. What? Gord Lake? Gordy cited. I don't believe it! Shouldn't you be reading something more... important? Post of a female police officer. Wait, no. That's the latest Babes in Uniform calendar. My bad. Wow! Hey, is that the police department mascot? That's the blue badger. It was my idea, I made it. It's my mascot. I see, how nice. I'll get him a signed mascot of the criminal affairs department if it's the last thing I do. Yeah, good luck. That must be one of the detectives. He's mumbling something to himself. Your mama could... Your mama can see you. No, she be crying. A prey can spit it out, you low-life scumbag. He must be doing image training for interrogations. <laughs> Alright, nothing here. Just say... Huh, I'm at a bit of a loss right now. Uh, I can't move around here. Don't know who owns the stand. I don't think there's anything to examine. Uh, let's go back here, I guess. Trees grow quite thick out here. Well, I'm back to trees fade in the shadow. Where the sunlight can't even reach it. Camera is reaching to respond to a noise, but it only responds to loud noises like potty pop off. Lada? Yeah? So, your camera. It triggers on loud explosion noises? Uh, yep. Yeah. Actually, the victim in the case we're researching, he was shot with a pistol. A pistol? Right, now, wouldn't a gunshot make a similar noise to a potty pop off? Uh, I guess it would. Your camera. Didn't get a picture of the motor, did it? Hey! You're pretty bright, huh? I see what you're saying. Tell you what, I haven't... I'll have a lucky see in my film. It would have been a photo taken late last night. I'll check them once. Don't remember if there was anything on them, though. But what if I got 
something. Ah, I could be a witness to a genuine murder. Yeah! I'll go check that film. Yo, come back now, you hear?